Hi, my name is Sam Burlow. I am the captain on the women's lacrosse team. I am a senior and I play midfield. Hi, I'm Casey. I'm a midi. I'm a sophomore and I'm a captain in training. Hi, I'm Mel Camp. I'm a senior captain and I'm the defense. Um, so left is three days a week. Um, this past year it was Monday, Wednesday, Friday from was it eight to nine? Eight to nine. Eight to nine a.m. And I loved it. It was like super nice way to like wake up in the morning and then you get it out of the way so then you have the rest of your day for classes and then practice and all that. We have a strength and conditioning coach, which actually helps a lot, especially for newcomers coming in, um, especially if they don't know the right proper techniques. The strength and conditioning coach will help find that technique to help them, and it prevents injury and all that fun stuff. Um, we do a little bit of both. Our warm-up usually has the injury prevention in it, and then we work a lot on building our strength, and we test our maxes almost every three weeks, and hopefully we can up our maxes every time. For the freshmen, we try to encourage them because it is frustrating, especially because a lot of them haven't really lifted all the weight before. So just being there for them, helping out little tips that have helped us along the way, and that just provides a little extra support for them. Sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Silence. Sure. <laughs> so after lunch, um, we all go back to the locker room. We usually stretch a little bit. We have foam rollers. If we don't do it in the lifting room, we'll do it in the locker room where we also make our protein shakes. Coach provides us a shaker bottle and then we'll put our protein in and then um, recover for the rest of the day. We also have the, in the trainer's room, we have the ice bath, which we like to use a lot. We like to use that after preseason practices, especially because we're pretty sore. <laughs> and then a lot of people use them after games too. Sometimes we'll even bring our protein shakes and ice bath to, with us. So usually we'll get to the locker room 30 minutes before lift starts. So we'll go there first, um, drop ourselves off, change, make sure we're all color coordinated. We'll go to lift, come back to the locker room. Some girls will shower. If some girls have to go to class, we'll instantly go to class. And then we just kind of hang out there for the whole day, go to class, come back. There's a microwave in there so we can cook up a little meal. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, it's great because it also provides a little bit of team bonding that help uh, progress onto the field. It's nice for me too because I commute, so I don't really like have like a place to go. So I use like the locker room to do my um, homework and just to like hang out. Sometimes I take naps. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's what that case is in the locker room. So it's nice for me because it gives me like a place to go where I can work and feel like focused and everything. So. All right, so. <laughs> Oh, um, one day we were in the locker room, me and Casey's locker room next to each other, locker buddies, <laughs> and Casey has this thing on her keys that's an alarm, so like, she was, if something locked, happens, you yeah. pull it, and it makes like, beep, like, it's really, really loud, loud. Oh, so loud. I went to, I was sitting on the ground, and I was putting my hand on Casey's locker to stand up, and I put, I somehow set the alarm off, and I didn't know how to turn it off, so we were in the locker room with Anissa and Laisha, I think, and a couple and other Erica, people, yeah. and Erica, <laughs> and we were trying to figure out how to set the, like, turn the alarm off. So you could hear it all the way in the trainers. You could hear it <laughs> We just took it and just kind of you know, threw it. I, we jumped it on the you ground. sent me a Snapchat video when you guys were hitting it on the ground. No, no, I was in class. We were calling her. We're like, Casey, we don't know how to turn your alarm off. Like, <laughs> I was in class. I like, couldn't answer. <laughs> no, what's going on? I think Laisha figured it out that you just have to. Oh no! You just have to stick the pin back in. Yeah. yeah. So, it was a solid ten minutes of the <laughs> alarm going off. Well, coach does goalie practices extra with any goalies that want the extra work. So then we can also use. The attackers will go out there and even the defenders and we can go out there and do one-on-one -on -one stuff or practice shooting because the coach is working with the goalie so that's pretty helpful. So we also do wall ball three times a week. It's You do it for 20 minutes and you sign in the coach's office and you'll just put a little X next to your name for each time that you do it so she knows that you're keeping up with your wall ball. A lot of us like to go together so we'll go down to the racquetball courts and we'll just play some wall ball or even like play pass a catch down there. So also um, coach and coach Alana is constantly in the office. So for me, after games, I'll go in the next day instantly. We'll just talk about the game, any improvements we can do, and we also watch a little bit of film before watching film, so it's a little bit of refreshing what happened. 
We also do shooting school too, which is like what the goal is, which is like 20, min 20 minutes before or after practice. And it helped me out a lot because my, so last year I was a defender and then I came here and I got switched to midfielder. And I, didn't, I knew, didn't really know what I was doing. So it really helped me in the fall. I'm not lying. <laughs> It really helped me in the fall because I would go to the shooting school every single day and just like the difference between like the month from doing it is significant and like I feel so much more confident because of doing that. Um, so we have study hall so it's an hour and a half of the week and you can either go to the student at the academic center and they have computers in there they have um, couches with little desks for you to sit at and then if you needed help with anything, you can also go to like coach's office. They have a desk in there where you could ask coach and she would be more than happy to have you sit there and like do your work there and stuff like that. But I really liked using study hall, especially my freshman year because I was commuting too and it was just like a nice quiet space for me to like work and get everything done and stay on top of things. So, so we have like midterm like progress reports. So you go to the coach's office and they'll give you like these slips and you basically give them to professors and they can either give them back or give them right to the coach. Just like checking in on how we're doing, what our grade is and like if there's any concerns or anything like that. So it's really helpful because it like puts coach in the loop if you're if she's not in the loop already from like communicating from with us what she might need to get on top of us about, what she might need to help us with, and so all that. So it's a really nice way to get the coaches involved with our academic as well. So we get priority registration as athletes. So we get to register at the same time as the honor students and other athletes in the senior class. That basically helps us get to pick our classes first. So when we go to register for classes, they're not already full. We can work our um, practice schedule around our class schedule and our class schedule around our practice schedule. So that helps us to make sure that we can all be at practice and we can all be at lifts at the same time. Every once in a while, we'll still have a class that is during practice time, so people will come in 15 minutes late or leave 15 minutes early, but priority registration lets us have generally the same time open for practice every day. So for me, I have to go to different schools for observation hours just to check in on different classes, see how they work. So sometimes I would be around 15 minutes late to practice, but usually we make it up with coach to see what we missed. The Well, the coaches are very accommodating <laughs> and we'll take that out of the video. Yes. No, I'm going to leave it. <laughs> um, we make it work. We make it work in the end. During uh, fall and spring season, um, we have designated days, especially for preseason. The first two days are offense oriented, defensive oriented, and then team building on the third day. So we take about 30 minutes of practice and really focus on that. Those so, days are nice though. Like the like, so like when it's an offense day, defenders are still getting in really good work. So it's not just like defenders are like sitting to the side. And even though we're focusing on offense or defense, the opposite is still getting just enough, if not even more work put in. The day before a game on Tuesdays or Fridays, for about 30 minutes, we'll go over the scout report of the other team as well as watching film of that team as well. So then we go right to practice that day and focus on those points for the game day the next day. So it helps us a lot with just um, knowing what we can do, um, just the little things. And the coaches will break down the film so that we will specifically watch their offenses run, their defenses run, and watch their clear and stuff to know how that we should react. And like Sam said, then we'll go into practice and we'll focus on those things, knowing what we're going to work against the next day. The scout reports are nice too because we each get a piece of paper of them. So like even after we break down film and like the film gets put out so we can watch it too. Um, you can like look at the scout reports like all night or the day, like the day of on the bus. <laughs> Not all night. We well, do. I mean, you could if you wanted to. We just read about it. <laughs> so that was his highlighting. Our report. Color coordinating. So, this year for game day, we just would go stretch out. We'd just make sure our muscles are good, everything like that. I'll usually go get my back cracked by trainers, make sure I'm all loose, ready for the game. I put my socks on first, and then I go get ready. For the day. Uh, <laughs> the socks have to go on first. What? Socks go on first. I don't know. It's my thing. Um, we all dance crazy in the, well, I do, uh, in the I locker room, get ready for the game day, get pumped, get everyone else pumped. We're in the locker room two hours before a game, so we have 
we warm up for about 45 minutes to an hour. So we have got an hour in the locker room just all together and we are blasting music. You can hear it at the end of the locker room hallway. And we're braiding our hair, we're dancing, we're all just hanging out. So home games are pretty easy. You just come into the locker room two hours before our game. We do our pregame rituals, we dance, and we do whatever. Um, away games are a little bit different. So at the beginning of the season, coach will give us a sheet of all the times that we're leaving for our games, when we should be out of classes and stuff. And so the bus will leave at a certain time. You gotta be there 15 minutes early, on the bus ready to go 15 minutes early. So some of our trips, we do have to spend the night, which is actually super fun. So you get your roommate or roommates, however many people we end up with in a hotel room, but it's really fun because coach will assign us. Sometimes with people that you're not super close with and you'll end up really bonding with them in the hotel room. We get all our food provided for us. So on the way to the games, we'll get lunch or dinner, depending on what time it is. And we really like to stop at Wegmans, that's our favorite. So being on the lacrosse team really does have that family feel. I know that's so probably cliche. cliche, very cliche, but it really is true. We bonded so much. It's, I think we're even closer now since our season was taken away from us. We're just ready for the next level and we really bond and we laugh over the dumbest things, but it's it's a really a family feel and also really it does start in the locker room. <laughs> it does start in yeah. the locker room. <laughs> I was thinking about Everything. when she spilled her water. <laughs> no, I agree with Sam. It's just something about Buffalo State and then something even more about Buffalo State with Ross. <laughs> like it's a family. Like we are each other's best friends. We do literally everything together. Like you'll get out of class and we'll immediately text up and be like, hey, let's go get food, let's go do this. And like we don't just play lacrosse together, like we literally do everything <laughs> together. It's nice too, like being like when I was a freshman coming up last year too, because um I was nervous obviously and then probably within like three days I felt perfectly like I could be myself and I could ask anybody anything which is super nice and it really is a family feeling and an atmosphere which you don't find a lot. Before summer starts, coach will let us know who the incoming freshmen are and she'll assign the upperclassmen or the captains and the leadership group little sister. So what that is, is just that we get to guide them and help them out in transitioning into their freshman year. So it is a lot to join a new lacrosse team, to go to a new school and have all this stuff, maybe even be moving out of your parents' house. It's, it's a lot to work on. The us as upperclassmen get to reach out to the freshmen, give them some advice coming in, and then kind of hold their hand along the way in the fall semester until they can figure it out on their own. <laughs> Me and Car can hang out all the time. I like her. She's funny. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, she was it up. Do you guys like my split leaf on Stara? Isn't she beautiful? Oh she looks good. Do you have a name one here? No, she has no name. Oh, she She's just the split leaf on Stara. <laughs> the coach is a very accommodating chat. She's spoken to Please keep that in the video. <laughs> Oh, can you guys tell that story about whose alarm went off on the <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I was the one that said it. Yeah. <laughs> you guys broke yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> and Mel, me and Mel were like, 